guys, welcome to Unspoken. I'm Batsubi, and this is the story of Halloween. Today, it is common to see different traditions around the world involving mystery, magic, and superstition. And here in America, October 31st is a very expected date where it is common to see children dress up, knocking on doors, asking for candy. It is common to see decorations of black cats, witches, and ghosts. And here, a very common phrase, trick or treat, Halloween has become a very expected celebration among children, adults, and especially among those who have an interest for the occult. But where does this intriguing celebration come from? And why are houses decorated with coffins, skeletons, and other occult decorations? Why are faces carved into fruits? And why do kids threaten for candy? Halloween originates back thousands of years to the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. The Celts celebrating their new year on November 1st, but this day marked the transition between the end of summer and the harvest time and the beginning of the cold winter days. For the Celts, the harvest was a matter of life or death, and the coming of these cold winter days were very scary times. The Celts celebrated Samhain the night before the new year, on October 31st. This night was a very important and magical night. It was believed that on this night, the boundary between the world of the living and the spirit world of the dead was the thinnest and became permeable. The souls from the spirit world wander freely to the human world, and the humans could wander into the spirit world as well. However, not all of the spirits wandering into the human world were believed to be kind and friendly. Some of them were evil, and it was believed that on this day, they had to be at peace, or they would stay, cause trouble, damage crops, or torture and hurt people. Because of this, the cats would appease the spirits by leaving food and sweets outside of their homes. They would also parade out with offerings to the edges of the villages, trying to persuade the evil spirits from their homes. Samhain was a very magical night. It was believed that on this night, weird things could happen. And just as the world, the dead would roam into the world of the living, the living could also look into the spirit world, see the future, and make predictions. On the night of Samhain, the Celts wore costumes made of animal heads and skins and would tell each other fortunes. They would be able to know who would die and who would prosper. These predictions were very important to the Celts because they depended on their crops and the prophecies were a source of comfort and direction in those cold winter days. The Celts believed that their gods controlled the sun and the shortening of these days were a sign of their power. They would build huge bonfires in honor of their gods. They would gather and burn crops and make animal sacrifices. They would thank the earth for the harvest time and would pray for the return of the sun. Even today, the tradition of Samhain still lives among the new Celtic people in Ireland. On Halloween, they call upon the ancient deities and broken spirits of the dead using old Celtic rituals and thank the earth spirits for life. Eventually, Christianity and the Roman Empire conquered the Celtic territory. In an attempt to convert the non-believers, the church adopted and mixed Celtic traditions instead of removing them. In the course of 400 years, the two, two Roman festivals were combined and mixed with Samhain to form what we know today as Halloween. One of the celebrations was a festival to honor, honor Pomona, the Roman goddess of fruits and trees, and Lemuria, a festival to commemorate the dead. Lemuria was observed on May 13, and it was believed that on this day, the ghosts of the dead would hunt people. Because of this, the pagan Romans would offer cakes to the dead and pour milk on their graves. In order to Christianize this pagan festival of Lemuria and convert the pagan Romans, the Catholic Church changed Lemuria into All Saints Day, a day to honor Holy Christian saints. In time, when Christianity spread to the Celtic lands, All Saints Day was moved from May 13 to November 1st in an attempt to erase Samhain. Because Samhain fell on the night before All Hallows Day on October 31st, 
31st, people started calling October 31st All Hallows Evening. This was then shortened to All Hallows Ian and eventually to Halloween. Eventually, the Catholic Church added a holiday on November 2nd to honor not only saints but also everyday Christians that became known as All Souls Day. This day was celebrated with bone fires and people would dress up in costumes of angels and devils. As new colonies started emerging here in America, traditions from all overseas began to spread. Yet Halloween celebrations were extremely limited in colonial New England. For the Protestant Puritans, the supernatural was not a harmless superstition, but rather a dark force. Because of this, Halloween was more common in Maryland and in the southern colonies. As time passed, beliefs and costumes from different European groups and American Indians were mixed, making a new version of Halloween. At first, Halloween celebrations included public events to celebrate the harvest. These festivities included neighbors coming together to tell ghost stories, tell each other's fortunes, dance, sing, and make mischief of all kinds. By the middle of the 19th century, Halloween was not yet celebrated everywhere, but annual fall festivities were very common. By the second half of the 19th century, new immigrants, including thousands of Irish immigrants fleeing Ireland's potato famine began to migrate to America. These new immigrants brought new traditions and helped popularize Halloween. Eventually, Irish and English traditions began to mix and Americans began to dress up in costumes and go house to house asking for money, a tradition that eventually became known as trick or treat. By the late 1800s, Halloween became more about the community and get-togethers rather than ghosts, magic, and witchcraft. Parties focused on food, games, and festive costumes. By this time, it was encouraged by community leaders that anything frightening be taken out of Halloween festivities. Because of this, by the beginning of the 20th century, Halloween lost most of its religious, mystical, and superstitious touch. But eventually, between the 1920s and 1950s, trick-or-treating, among other Halloween traditions, were revived. As you can see, Halloween has undergone a deep, dark, and scary journey, originating centuries ago from the Celts into the Dark Ages, where it became a Christian holiday honoring the dead. Eventually, it moved into American colonies as a family and community facility, and now it has become one of the most awaited holidays, ranging from a mixture of fun, tricks, superstitions, divination, horror, and the occult. But where did all the common Halloween traditions originate from? Check out my other video about the subject. It will be linked somewhere here. It's very interesting how all these traditions originated and hopefully you can learn something about it. <laughs> I surely learned a lot and I hope you learned a lot too. So comment below and tell me what you learned and what you like and what you didn't like. And yeah, so stay tuned for more videos about very interesting topics out there that is very good to learn about. <laughs> so please don't forget to subscribe or like this video if you did. Alright, well have a good night and I send you all a kiss. Bye bye.